Can you see the pineapple and a little red specks of the maraschino cherries and the pineapple, a little plates of coconut? Oh, I cannot wait to taste this. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, hi you guys. Um, welcome to my little kitchen. I'm Amy, Amy Roa. And uh, yeah, so today in my little kitchen, in my home, we are going to make tropical banana bread. Now tropical, what does that mean to you? Well, to me, what it means to me is I think of coconut, I think of pineapple, I even may think about these little maraschino cherries in it. Uh, not quite pina colada, but I don't know, just kind of those tropical, you know, basic, simple flavors. Uh, I am going out of town. I'm going to Michigan to visit my dad, my brother, my sister, and some of my uh, other family. And so I thought before I'd leave, I would uh, make tropical banana bread and leave something here for Chris to enjoy. He, he's not able to go with me. So anyway, it's late at night. My flight leaves early in the morning. So what do I do? I'm in my kitchen baking. So let's get started because I just realized I forgot an apron. So, okay. Okay, so let's get going. I, and I just realized I just put on this apron with this plaid shirt. So hopefully it's not getting too crazy for y'all. So anyway, what do we have here? Um, dry ingredients. We have about two cups of flour. We have one cup of shredded sweetened coconut. We have a teaspoon of baking soda and powder. Oh, I forgot the salt. Uh, we're gonna do a little salt in that too. And so for some of the wet ingredients, we have one can of pineapple, crushed pineapple and I have it slightly drained. I still left a little bit of juice within the pineapple. I'm going to use a little bit of the other, the other, I'm going to use the remaining of the pineapple juice from the crushed pineapple to use for a little bit of the glaze on top. So I'm not sure I need all of that, but probably. And then I might drop in a, a, a little splash of coconut um, flavor. And then we're gonna add in vanilla with this too, plus two eggs, room temperature. And um, just because I poured it first, but I'm thinking you can also, and I have a half a cup of canola oil, but if you wanted, you could add a half a cup of melted um, butter too. But for some reason I got can canola oil. I'm, to tell the truth, I'm not really sure because butter, I always think of butter when it comes to baking but I guess it was just in the pantry getting all the other stuff. I went ahead and got that. So it'll work. You wanna have a moist bread, but you obviously don't want it too moist. And look at these bananas, perfect. In fact, I have four here because some of it I may not be able to use. So let's get that out here. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, why not add in our coconut? Now where did, where did the big bowl go? I had a bigger bowl for all of this. Because this is not gonna be enough. Okay, sorry, I do not know where that bowl went because this is to mix everything. Okay, I'll be back. I just realized I had half of my stuff all over the place. And what I may do on top too is I may add a little bit of sliced almonds just to give that little bit of crunch to this tropicalness. So here's my bowl. We're just gonna dump in the two cups of flour here. We're gonna dump in the baking powder, baking soda, a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna get a fork, or if you want, a whisk. But I also have to do the coconut, and I didn't want the coconut to get all stuck in the, with the whisk. So we're just gonna Kind of just swirl that around. We're going to add in the coconut. Here we go. 
Oh, this is gonna be so good. I just wanted a different take on banana bread or from the chocolate chip or pumpkin banana bread or maple syrup and you know, stuff like that. I don't know, I just, you know, you, you get into the winter months or, but even, this would go great in those nice hot months too. And maybe you wish you were sitting by the pool. So this banana bread will be good anytime. But in these sometimes cold winter months, you just want a little bit of tropical. And then, um, so yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Because sometimes the cherries will blend evenly in the wet mixture if you dust it with flour. So what I wanted to do here is I kind of patted these dry to, dry to get as much of the juice out as possible. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of slice these up, chop them up into little itty bitty pieces. So when I do mix the cherries in with the dry, they will, um, they will adhere better to the wet and to the flour. And hopefully I won't have, you know, just a bunch of clumps of cherry in one part of the banana bread and not throughout. It's sometimes what I do with like blueberries and blueberry muffins, I'll just dust them with flour or if I'm other baking products. It's usually what I do with the, uh, I think pancakes too. If I haven't done it in my videos recently, I do it now. Uh, when I make pancakes, I'll mix the blueberries in so that when the wet ingredients get in there, the blueberries are dusted so they'll adhere to the wet and kind of not slide off and hopefully be a little more evenly distributed throughout the, um, throughout the mix. So anyway, we're making tropical banana bread. I don't know, just the smell of the pineapple, the coconut, and these cherries here. Can I be in Hawaii right now drinking a Mai Tai or a pina colada or the Car Caribbean, Caribbean? And drink a pina colada, ooh. It's such a sweet drink, but I tell you, it's like having a shake or something. I, I just love it. Maybe that's why we drink so much of it, because it's sweet. Yeah, you can taste the alcohol in it, but probably not much when you go to the hotels or by the pool. But oh, they're so good. So here we go. I'm just chopping these up. Let me think, I think these might be a little too wet. Look at that, I've already changed my mind. Here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mix these in with the wet. I just changed my mind. I, I, I think they're a little bit too wet. I don't want the flour to clump up. But it's all good, it's all good. Give it a try. Go ahead and give it a try. And I think I just changed my mind here. So we're gonna go ahead and mix in, kind of mash these bananas. Oh, you want ripe bananas like this. Such good um, banana flavor. I mean, sometimes you think like they're just gonna fall right off, but I think the skin just got dark, but they are ripe. They are right. I think I'm gonna not have that little piece here though. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna mash these up. So I have three. I'm gonna add this little fourth one. So we'll call it three and a half maybe. All right, boy, these were good. I'm so glad I'm doing this just before I take off because I'm not sure these banana peels or these bananas. I'm not sure these bananas would have been okay by the time I got back, so. Let's do this last one. I'm not even sure if this one's going to be doing. Oh yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Not as bad as I thought. Okay. All right. 
get rid of that. So what you can do is use a potato masher or a fork. I'm just gonna start off with a fork. If you don't think your bananas are ripe enough, go ahead and use a, a potato masher. So we're just gonna mash these up. Oh man, I can't wait for this. Cause I'll be up all night. My flight takes off at six in the morning, but it'll take us at least 45 minutes to get to the airport. And of course, you know, quote, you're supposed to board, they start boarding like 40, 45 minutes before uh, you're supposed to take off. Then if you're not there at least 20 minutes, a half hour before the plane takes off, they might give your seat away. So I tell you, flying gives me anxiety now. You just don't, I'm gonna take this little dark spot out. I mean, you just don't know if your plane's gonna make it there and and it's in the winter time. I'm flying into many, these are just dark little spots in the banana, I just didn't want them there. And then um, I fly into Minneapolis, so who knows? So I just feel like baking. In my craziness and anxiety, I just feel like baking. Chris is over there watching a show. Okay, so we got the bananas in here. I'm gonna add any juice that was in with the pineapple. Just went ahead and added that. I've got the sugar. Um, we're gonna do the eggs. There we go. The other one. And tell you too, all I'm gonna do is pretty much mix this up with a fork. I'm not gonna use a mixer. You don't, uh, I don't think you need that here. I'm just gonna add in just a little bit of juice, pineapple juice. I hope I left enough for the icing. Okay, we're gonna mix this in first. Then, I'm gonna make sure the sugar And the eggs are really combined as best I can. It's best to do this now because once the flour gets in there, you don't want to, you want to make sure you don't, this is a loaf bread. So you really want to make sure you don't overmix it. Just like cupcakes and cakes and all of that stuff. So there we go. I always look around, I'm always afraid I miss something. I, I don't understand that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the cherries. We'll probably turn the mixture pink. Then we're gonna add in the oil. I almost feel like I should add cinnamon or something in here. I'm trying to think of what spice. I mean, a nutmeg? No, I'm not feeling the nutmeg. Oh, maybe a little almond. Oh, did, did I add this yet? I don't think I added this stuff yet, did I? Oh. I may not be able to add coconut oil. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just a little bit. Doop. Because I think extract, pretty powerful. Definitely vanilla. I mean, if you wanted to add a little bit of almond extract, just a little bit, not, not much. I suppose you could do that. A little vanilla. Mmm. Okay. Just enough of the cherries. So how much of the uh, uh, the cherries did I add? It was a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. Just, just eyeball it for the cherries. Because if you don't want the cherries in there, you don't even have to add them. Okay. I didn't want the cherries to stain my... Um... Okay, we got all this in here. I'm just going to... Mix this until it's combined. Okay. 
And I think for this bread, once it is done baking and it has cooled, I'm gonna do a little pineapple powdered sugar, um, uh, a pineapple juice, powdered sugar, yes, and maybe a little vanilla. But I think for this, I am going to toast very lightly some almonds and put it on top. But we're gonna do, you know, a little bit of glaze. So what did I write down here? Yeah, a little bit of, um, oh yeah, sweetened coconut, pineapple juice, and powdered sugar for my glaze. Okay, I think that's it, enough. I went ahead and greased and floured my loaf pan. I hope I, this is um, about a nine and a half, four and a half by nine and a half pan. I hope, it, hopefully it's not too big. The other one I had was only like eight and a half. I tell you, an inch could be a big difference. This loaf may, you know, rise up and then fall out. So here we go. Oh man, this smells so good, you guys. You know what I think this could be better than? Pineapple upside down cake. That's what it reminds me of. Or a pina colada. Maybe I should have put a little rum in this. <gasps> Instead of the pineapple juice, do a little bit of rum. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be good? <gasps> Maybe that's what I should do. A variation of this will be a pina colada. Pina colada banana bread. Oh, sounds so good. Okay, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and let's see here. What did I write down on my notes? You should bake it for about 60 minutes. I would check it at 50, see how it's going. If you wanted to uh, test it for doneness, do it then, but it may need to go in for another 10, uh, 10 minutes or so. Take it out, definitely let it cool. Cool completely before you ice it, but let it cool at least for about 15 minutes before you try and take it out of the pan. Okay, I will see you after this is done. Okay, you guys, look at this. The tropical banana bread is out of the oven. It's cooled down, so we're gonna go ahead and just make kind of a, um, I don't know, a little frosting glaze for it. Oh. Hear me. I almost forgot that I had the um, uh, uh, sliced almonds <laughs> on the stove. It's late, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm get, uh, I'm staying up all night because I've got to leave for the airport at three o'clock a.m. Anyway, let me toast these a little bit more. Jeez, I almost forgot about them. I thought it'd be kind of nice just to sprinkle a little bit on top. Uh, just give that little crunch, but I just thought almonds uh, went well. So anyway, here's our bread. I think it looks delicious. So I'm going to just dump, I don't know, a cup's probably too much. I think a half a cup would have been just fine. We're going to dump in the remainder of the pineapple juice. And I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla. If you do want to use a little bit of coconut extract, I think you could do that as well. But if you think that that's not enough, you can always add like a little milk or something like that. I think because I added vanilla, this froth, this little glaze, whatever, maybe a, um, a little brown and not so clear or white. So it's like this. I'm just gonna kind of keep mixing it so Probably should have just added a dash of vanilla and not as much as I did. I'm just gonna add in a, just a little bit more of powdered sugar. It's a little bit too runny for me, so I do think I added a little bit too much vanilla. So 
So I'll just keep stirring it. Because I know my banana bread is still a little warm. Okay, I think this is a little better. Okay. Check out these almonds. I have it on really low because these are sliced. I just want them a little more toasty. Okay. So we're just gonna drizzle this on top just a little bit. I want the banana, the tropical banana flavor, the pineapple, the coconut. And don't forget about those little red specks of marchino cherries. I don't want this, you know, all frosted, but that's my preference. And we're gonna continue to drizzle as I constantly think about my almonds still being on the stove top. Okay, let me go check them out. Here we go. Because these will only take a couple of minutes. Okay, a little bit more to go. Just like the ends of any bread, sometimes the ends of the loaf aren't the best, but I tell you, if you toast it a little bit, ooh, that might be a little good. That might be a little good. Oh my goodness, that might taste good. <laughs> Chris always comments, Amy, where did you come from? <laughs> I sometimes think my mind or my thoughts are faster than what's coming out of my mouth and just comes out. So I, I think that's enough. I, I don't think I need any more. I just wanted a little bit. So yeah, we'll get the almonds going here. Oh, I can smell them now. They're just beginning to toast. So I just uh, put the almonds right on here because I didn't want the almonds to continue to cook on in the pan as I let it cool. So I'm just gonna just kind of crunch them up just a little bit. If there's some whole sliced almonds, that's fine. But I just wanted a little bit. And you know what else would go well with this too, if you wanted, which I'm gonna go do. Maybe just a little bit of flaked coconut. So, sorry about that. We're just gonna get a little bit of flaked coconut. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let the loaf, the tropical banana bread loaf, cool down just a little bit more before I uh, slice it. So yeah, there we go. Kind of make sure the almonds, oops. There we go. All right, there you go. Tropical Banana Bread. You can find this recipe and all of the other recipes that I've done over at amyroloffslittlekitchen.com. Uh, so from my little kitchen to yours, keep enjoying gathering around the table with family and friends. So I hope you give this a try and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would so love it. So I'll slice this up in a little bit once it cools down, but check it out, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. So Okay, hi you guys, um, made tropical banana bread. I was staying up late tonight because I've got to catch a plane here in about an hour drive to the airport. So, but come on, I'll have a little cup of coffee and a little bit, well, I've got to taste the bread. So let me just cut this end piece off. The end piece is still good. It would probably be good if it was toasted. And it probably would be better if I used a seriated knife. 
I'm not sure, but let's see. Oh, look at that. You know what? I'm just going to have the end piece because it's still good. <gasps> look at that. Can you see the pineapple and a little red specks of the maraschino cherries and the pineapple, a little plates of coconut? Oh, I cannot wait to taste this. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The nice banana flavor, the little chew from the coconut, the sweetness from the pineapple, and then the marchino cherries. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Check it out over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen and make the recipe. Let me know what you think and subscribe to my YouTube channel, but make the recipe. Let me know what you think. All right, check it out, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. In the meantime, I might have to have another piece.